Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this Design Tool Tuesday video I'm gonna talk to you about maps in product design and UI design and mobile interfaces and desktop interfaces and you name it. Anything what has to do with mapping, distance showing, some sort of data visualization uh, based on maps is what we're gonna cover. And specifically, I have one tool which I always come back to. There are plenty others, but this one is something I like personally because of its simplicity and how easy it is to customize a map and put it straight into a mockups. I'm talking about snazzy maps. Now snazzy maps, the best bit about it, it has already predefined plentiful of themes. And you know, people like yourself, let's say if you would go and customize a map, which I'm going to show you in a second, can save it and share it to the public and then public can vote and then make a list of really highly performing maps. Right. Uh, before we dive into actual tool, let me show you what I have in my sketch right now. So this is an app I've been working back in the day uh, a year ago or so. One of the key functionalities of it was the map itself. I definitely use the snazzy maps to customize a map because I wanted to show, let's say, the green areas on the map, but I also wanted to kind of fade and make black and white outlook to the rest of it so that the roads are not too outstanding because that didn't really matter. What mattered more is what's on top of a map or what it tries to communicate with other data points like let's say these type of uh, you know points of interest per se, right? So let's say this is you and then you have a lot of different people around you. And so the map was quite simple, you know, it was just a mock-up I placed in, it was a screenshot and I used snazzy maps. And if we go back to snazzy maps, that's where the interesting bit comes in because you can basically, depending on your can feel or direction you're headed with your mock-up or your product design, you can then pick one and then put it in. You know, some of them are really drastic. Some of them are like this one, let's say it's called Assassin's Creed. Looks really kind of HUD, kind of like a games uh, outlook. And if I, let's say I can just, you know, I can download it, but I like to just simply try out by taking a screenshot, going to my mock-up, and then just pasting it as a layer. Let's go back. And as you can see, it, it becomes a, like a totally different application, becomes totally different product. And let's see if I would zoom out a little bit. Let's see if there are any instances. No, just that. It just becomes more of like a game type of interface I would expect it to be. And that's probably where the author named it Assassin's Creed, right? So let's let's just take it out and let's find something else. But you can see the possibilities of it, right? So you as a creator, you can hide the labels, you can showcase different points of interest. Like let's say your highways can disappear, your, your parks can disappear. It's up to you how you want to modify. And as you can see, it's all about New York here but some of them are just really, really crazy. I want to pick a good example so that, you know, we can actually compare a few, but I think these are like very different ones. So let's say this one, more, also like quite illustrative. And let me just check how it's gonna look like. And boom, if I put that, it doesn't look too bad. It, it of course, it clashes with my colors, but you can see the direction where I'm headed with it, right? I'm just gonna delete it right away and we can go explore deeper into snazzy map but something like this let's say as you can see it's only like certain pieces are popping out this is something you can modify in a snazzy map so let's say let's let's explore this one we can customize it right away so it's almost like you forking a version of it and then you can modify it and here you have features so let's say if you want to fill in the country or something else. I don't know what could be a good example to do it, like roads, let's say. Because here you can see some of the roads are hidden. Let's see what it was. Okay, so it's it's checked simplified. We can set on, we can pick a color, let's say for it. Boom, as you can see, immediately the roads start to pop out and immediately it's a different type of map. But maybe it's something which you're looking for for your design. Maybe it's a bit faded like so it's it's automatically tells a different story than it than it did before see what else we can do maybe something like points of interest are always interesting to see because like let's see businesses here maybe attraction let's see what can we do with that i'm not really sure which one is which here but as you can see even the labels let's say i'm turning it off let's see what happens if i start to turn off the labels boom 
as you can see immediately you can see the effect of the map and and how do you want it to look like in the end but you can hack it and you can make your own maps which fit exactly how your thing could look like as you can see here the metro transit bits are visible but as you can see, I can actually change the color too, something like that maybe. Maybe it's a Metro app I'm working on and that's why I need it. Or maybe I can just turn it off immediately. It's really up to you how you want to represent it. But you can just see how much options it gives you to actually play around and do something with it. And it's kind of like it depends where you want to take it again. So SNES map is it's quite amazing because you get so many different options. I usually work from already created map, which kind of fits my you know look and feel I'm looking for because it's really usually quick type of approach where I need to pick a map really quickly, put it in a prototype, test it on users, and then see if it works or not. Like let's say this one. I think that's a pretty good example, and that's purely from that flat outlook I just saw type of thing what I was looking for I would just simply take a screenshot or you can download it it's up to you but as you can see it's automatically a different kind of app like from get-go it just becomes a totally different type of product and so if your app is heavy in maps or you're working with some sort of map visualization I think it's a good tool to explore you know Google Maps does that map box is another tool there are plenty of tools but I like SNES maps because it feels a bit more community driven it has that forking functionality where you can make copies and you know edit it further if something doesn't work to your standards and so you have an options always to customize it and that's the whole point point. and so if you like this tool give it a go as per usual give a like subscribe to this channel leave a comment down below and stay tuned for more material